Ever wondered how hard is it to open your own Jurassic Park and how much actually it's going to cost? Hi everyone, my name is Alex and in this video we will compare the creation of Jurassic Park in the book with how we build it. The original Jurassic Park was supposed to be the best and the most expensive park in history and bring unprecedented profits. Billions of dollars were spent on its creation. Some people couldn't let this slide and calculated how much it would cost to build and maintain it in reality. It starts pretty simple. Just to start R&D, collect dinosaur DNA and clone them would cost $26 million. But an island of Costa Rica would cost a whopping $10 billion. The construction of the park itself, including buildings, roads, fences and security systems would cost $1.5 billion. Employee salaries, electricity, water and transportation cost $11.5 billion a year. And finally, food for dinosaurs will cost a measly $200 million a year. As a result, it is going to cost $23 billion to build the park and its operation will cost $12 billion a year. The parks that we build turn out much cheaper. If you want to open your own, we can not only calculate its cost, but also show how long it's going to take to pay off. Choosing right place A businessman John Hammond wanted to open his own park on one of the islands near Costa Rica in the Nobel Jurassic Park. The dinosaurs themselves were grown in a laboratory on a nearby island. Hammond needed to think about keeping the dinosaurs as close to their climate as possible and also about making sure they didn't escape. When you create a park with animatronic dinosaurs with us, you don't need to worry about this. Our dinosaurs are adapted to different climatic conditions and will definitely not run away. The park location problem can be solved in different ways. You have land on which you will locate the park. You can place dinosaurs in the shopping center. Or you can make your exhibition mobile and tour with it to different cities. We calculate the cost individually for each park. Our experts will help you find the best option, taking into account the location of the park, its distance from the city or the rental of a shopping center, the influx of tourists and the numbers of other factors. If you decide to build a park in an open area, then we will start by creating a plan. Our designers will offer optimal routes based on it. They will be designed for people of all age groups. Special activity zones will be developed for children, rental of dynamobiles or dinosaur excavations, and photo zones. And everyone will definitely like the themed cafes. After creating the routes, the only thing remains is to add the most important thing – dinosaurs. Choosing dinosaurs it may be a surprise, but even though the movie is literally called Jurassic Park, not all the dinosaurs represented in it lived in that period. For example, the T-Rex was from the Cretaceous period. So were the Velociraptors that also lived in the Cretaceous period, not the Jurassic. But you can create a theme park dedicated to a specific period, or you can follow the creators of the movie and mix them. If it works for the movie, then it's going to work for your park too. And for real experts in paleontology, we have a special offer. After the release of the original films, science has not stood still and we are trying to keep up with it. At the request of the customer, our team can produce scientifically reliable dinosaurs. We involve a real paleontologist in the work as a consultant. To make the dinosaurs even more impressive, we recommend placing them in special compositions. They can be based on fossils or reconstructions by scientists, a triceratops defending against a T-Rex, and velociraptors that run in a pack in search of prey. Such compositions make the figures more realistic and allow you to imagine what the Earth looked like millions of years ago. Animatronic figures are best suited for showing action, and for photo zones, we recommend ordering static ones. On average, we get an order for 15 animatronic dinosaurs for a dinosaur theme park. This is going to cost $50,000. Safety As you may remember, in the original movie, everything went wrong. Despite the security measures taken, the dinosaurs broke free and caused the very chaos that Dr. Malcolm had warned about. This would not have happened if John Hammond had not skimmed on staff and brushed off advice. We take the issue of security seriously, although our dinosaurs will not hurt anyone. When working on a project, we make sure that we create a park that's completely safe for children. We take care of the delivery and installation of dinosaurs. 
We transport large figures in disassembled form, having carefully packed them before that. The cost of delivery is usually around 5% of the cost of dinosaurs. In installation, 10% of the cost of the figures. Insurance for dinosaurs You all remember this legendary scene from the movie. In case our dinosaur is sick, our specialist goes to the place to help it. All our figures have a one-year warranty. You can also arrange permanent maintenance for all dinosaurs in your park. In case of a breakdown, we will undertake to repair it and carry out restoration if necessary. Thanks to this service, the sick dinosaurs will quickly return to functioning state and continue to entertain children. Let's summarize how much it will cost and after how long an average theme park will pay off. Creating a plan, building routes, creating and installing dinosaurs is going to be $200,000. Calculations on the payback of the park consist of many factors – the influx of tourists, distance from the city, geographical conditions and more. An average park in good conditions will pay off in 3 years. We can make a theme park in just 90 working days, and we think it's going to be an excellent business investment. We create an individual project for each clan, taking into account all their wishes. Parks with our dinosaurs are already open to the public in many cities. You can contact us at this phone number or by filling out the form on our website.